applying table creation with select, insert data using select, renaming on database tables. How can we create a table with the help of select statement and with the help of previously existing table, insert the data using select statement and finally rename a database table. Hello everyone, I'm Sukanya from GoEduHub Technologies and today we are going to see that how can we create a table with the help of select statement whereas earlier we used to create table using create statement. So to create a table with the help of select statement, you have to use the syntax create table, the new table name as and then select asterisk from the original table. If you have seen the previous videos, then you might know that we have a table already created as named as dep department. And now with the help of department table, we will create a new table known as bar. The new table name will be bar. So the syntax will be create table bar, which is the new table we are going to create. M int, that is simply a column M we want to add in the new table bar. And select asterisk from depth and the all the records and columns from the depth will be added, will be merged along with this table. So let us run this command and check that whether the syntax and this command are executed in the MySQL command line. So this is the already created depth table which we are already having, having fields depth ID and department name respectively and the ID is the primary key of the table. It cannot have duplicate values. Now if I want to create a new table name bar having field m int and i want to merge it with the select from depth along with this table then how it works let us check the query is okay and there are five rows affected so now if i select asterisk from bar if i want to see that what the table bar has included or what has been merged with it so if i select asterisk from bar then I can see that M is the new field which has been added. You have entered here a new field M int and select asterisk from department. It is added along with the department table and the fields right now are null because we have not inserted any values to it. So this is the new table formed bar with the help of select statement and a previously recorded table. Now insert data using select all the fields where you have seen that there is a null data. Now if I want to insert the data over there and using the select statement then how can I do that? Let us check to that now. So the syntax is insert into table name which we already use for inserting data and the column name in whichever column you want to insert. Then select table dot column name from some other table where the condition matches. For example, where the department is CAC, you want to insert, select the 101 ID and there you want to insert the data. So insert into bar M department ID and select this following ID. This is how we are inserting new data into the table bar. So if I run this command in my MySQL command line, so this is the command insert into bar M and department ID and select 101, 101 is CSE, EA dot department ID from department EA where EA dot department name is CSE. So as I run this command, it show that the query is okay and one row has been affected. That means one row has been changed, one entry has been made to the table. Similarly, it has inserted the other values also in the table, which is insert into bar M101 department ID where the department is IT. So the IT department column has the ID 105. So we have to insert here 105 will be combined with 101 because we are selecting the ID 101 with the department name as IT. So let me include this insert query also. And check in the command line whether the following is executed yes the query is okay and it has been entered into the table bar and again if i want to insert 104 me department so let me check the query is executed or not in the mysql command line yes that query is also okay so this is how we have inserted into the table bar with the help of select statement of previous table so the output would look something like this. The new entries will be reflected at the bottom of the table. So if I again run the select query, 
select asterisk from bar then you can see that the new entries have been at the bottom side i have not mentioned department name this is the where condition i am not inserting the department that's why it has showing null and m has inserted the values where the department id is 101 105 and 104 and as m is not a primary key i have not associated any constraint so duplicate values is accepted no issues would be shown over there Next, if we come to rename a table, how can we rename a table? So, the syntax is very easy. Rename, as we all know, you want to change the particular name of a previous name to a new name. So, the syntax is rename table table name to new table name. For example, if I want to rename table bar, which I have just now created, to college. CLG is the short form which I am being using here. So, let me run this query in my command line and check whether it is OK. Yes, the query is OK. And now if I use the select statement, then I have to select from college, not from bar. Why? Because I have renamed the table. And the same values have been displayed. Just the college name has been changed. Why? Because I have used it renamed table syntax. So, in this module, we have learned about how can we create a table with the help of select statement, how can we insert data using select statement and then finally, how can we rename a table. For more queries, we will look into other videos. Thank you.